ITV's popular breakfast news show, Good Morning Britain, GMB, has recently faced significant backlash, with over 8,000 complaints lodged with the UK media watchdog Ofcom. The complaints stem from a controversial episode aired earlier this week, featuring an interview conducted by co-host Ed Balls with his wife, Yvette Cooper, who currently serves as the Home Secretary. The episode also included a heated exchange between Ed Balls and independent MP Zara Sultana, further fueling public discontent. The main issue that sparked outrage among viewers was the perceived conflict of interest in having Ed Balls, a former Labour MP, interview his own spouse during a time of national crisis. The segment was focused on addressing the ongoing far-right riots across the UK, with Yvette Cooper condemning the criminal violence and thuggery taking place. However, many viewers felt that the interview lacked objectivity due to the personal relationship between the interviewer and the interviewee. Social media platforms were flooded with criticism, with one viewer describing the interview as a cozy little chat between spouses and another calling the show appalling for allowing such an arrangement. The complaints didn't stop there. Another segment of the same episode featured a tense debate between Ed Balls, his co-host Kate Garraway, and Coventry South MP Zara Sultana. The discussion revolved around the labeling of recent riots as Islamophobic and racist, with Zara Sultana highlighting incidents such as a mosque in Stockport being targeted, where bricks were thrown, and people inside feared for their lives. Sultana questioned whether the inflammatory language used in political discourse, particularly around immigration, had contributed to the unrest. During the debate, tensions escalated as Ed Balls repeatedly interrupted Sultana, challenging her assertions and accusing her of attacking the hosts. At one point, Balls remarked, You've moved from attacking Andrew Pierce to attacking me, so let me have a go. What you can't do is just spray out attacks on all of us and then not have any comeback. This exchange further incensed viewers, with many taking to social media to express their disapproval of Balls' conduct. One viewer commented, can't believe you've got Ed Balls back after his appalling conduct during the interview with Zara Sultana. Another echoed this sentiment, describing Balls' behavior as just appalling. In response to the outcry, ITV issued a statement defending the episode, emphasizing that the interviews and discussions were balanced, fair, and impartial. An ITV spokesperson stated, following a weekend of rioting and national unrest, GMB featured a range of interviews and discussions around this national emergency on today's program. These included James Cleverly, Shadow Home Secretary, and Yvette Cooper, Home Secretary. We are satisfied that these interviews were balanced, fair, and duly impartial. Despite ITV's defense, the episode has drawn the attention of Ofcom, which confirmed that it is currently assessing the complaints to determine whether there has been a breach of broadcasting rules. However, no decision has yet been made on whether an investigation will be launched. The controversy has highlighted the challenges faced by Good Morning Britain in navigating the fine line between informative journalism and potential conflicts of interest. The episode in question has not only sparked a debate about the ethics of journalism but has also called into question the impartiality of the program's hosts. As viewers await Ofcom's decision, the incident serves as a reminder of the importance of maintaining journalistic integrity, especially during times of national crisis.